Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about my September favorites, and just a quick heads up, this one might be a little bit more random than normal. Starting off in the month of September, I had a movie favorite, and that was the Guy Ritchie film, Man From U.N.C.L.E. Now, I know this isn't the best film out there, it's definitely not deep or thought-provoking, but... It was a ton of fun, I loved it, and I ended up seeing it two times. The Man from U.N.C.L.E. is based on the 1960s TV show that had the American CIA agent Napoleon Solo working with the Russian KGB agent Ilya Kuryakin as they basically combined forces to take down um, elements of evil in the world that are threatening to both the U.S. and Russia. Like I said, this isn't the kind of film that's going to win an Oscar or make you leave the theater thinking really deep thoughts, but it is a ton of fun. The cast was phenomenal, the action scenes are spot on, and I particularly really enjoyed the 60s vibe with all of the music and costumes and cars and technology it was basically fantastic. The only problem I did have with the film is that there are certain scenes that over explain themselves in a way that kind of talks down to the audience, but that is just kind of a Guy Ritchie um, trope almost at this point. So I guess I should have been expecting it, but otherwise I thought the film is fantastic and if you like beautiful men, you're gonna like this film. Watching Man From U.N.C.L.E. really just put me in the mood for all things retro and spy related. So I've been reading a James Bond novel and another favorite of mine, I've been listening non-stop to the Man From U.N.C.L.E. soundtrack. I don't remember who the composer is off the top of my head, but I will say that the music fit the movie perfectly. It created a really great ambiance and vibe, and it's a lot of fun just to listen to in your everyday life. Aside from the Man From U.N.C.L.E. soundtrack, I've been really inspired to go back and listen to older music that played a big part in my childhood, mainly Frank Sinatra and 50s era music. If you'd like to check out any of the music that I listened to pretty much nonstop in the month of September, I will link my September playlist on 8-tracks down in the description below. Another random favorite from the month of September was the day trip that my family and I took to celebrate my birthday to visit the battleship USS Iowa. I've been to monuments and museums before and this is honestly like nothing else I've ever seen. You literally get to crawl all over a decommissioned U.S. military battleship and learn about the history and about how this ship is run and constructed and the different um, historical events that it's been a part of and if you are at all in um, distance of Long Beach, if you have the ability to get to Long Beach, California, I would highly suggest that you go check this out. If you would like to see some photos of the ship, I actually did a whole blog post on my trip to the ship, uh, that rhymed, on my blog, which is actually another favorite of mine from the month of September. In case you're a new subscriber and you didn't know, I have a blog as well, and that's called The Little Spider, and it's always linked on my channel page and in the description boxes of all of my videos. Since this summer, I've been trying to get back into blogging, and I finally reached that point where I'm having fun again, even though I don't have a large readership and even though I don't really get a lot of engagement on the blog, I'm just having a good time making content that I care about and putting it out there on a different platform. But of course, it never hurts to self-promo, so here we go, shameless plug. If you're interested in checking out my blog, it's always linked down below my videos, and I would love for you to do so. You can find all of my video content there, as well as extra book discussions and more in-depth book reviews on things that I don't review here on the channel. Unfortunately, I don't have any favorite YouTubers this month, but I do have a few favorite videos that I think you guys should go check out if you haven't already. First of all, I want to mention the Big Book Fear video that Vanessa from Jaboski put out. I think she does a really good job of talking about the challenges of being a relatively slow reader on booktube and why that sometimes keeps her from reading the big books on her TBR. And the last thing I want to share is a video by Sabrina from Unmanaged Mischief, and this is one of her recommendation videos on where to start with Japanese literature. If you guys have been interested in or have liked the Japanese lit that I have read so far this year, I would highly suggest that you go check out this video because um, Sabrina's been reading Japanese lit far longer than I have, and I think she has some really really good recommendations and a lot of them sounded very very interesting to me and I immediately went and added them to my TBR shelf. So those are all of my favorites from September 2015 and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in an unfavorite really quickly and that would be the weather. I live in Southern California right now and we are not only suffering from a very bad drought but we are experiencing very high heats very late in the year. I mean hello it's like October. I would like it to not be 90 when I wake up tomorrow. That would be nice. Okay, so that's all I have for this video, you guys. 
I'm gonna wrap it up. Hopefully I didn't seem too um, spacey. I'm a little preoccupied because my computer crapped out on me this morning. So I'm not actually sure how I'm gonna edit, the, edit this video. I didn't think about that when I started filming. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are having a better day than I am and I will see you next time. Bye.